Today's podcast is from our unscripted sessions on YouTube. It's always powerful, it's always intense, times of worship and prayer. If you want to experience the full session, go to YouTube and subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's always an amazing experience for each session. But for this podcast, enjoy. times when all the connections have failed, all the long leg has failed, all the networking, all the people I know have failed, then we realize that we have come to the end of ourselves. Now it's either God shows up, it's either Jesus shows up, or it's all over. You know when you talk about connections and everything, it reminds me of when I was looking for a job. <laughs> My God. Uh, you know, at, at some point, you see people will recommend you and tell you, oh, I'm telling you, I know, just finish. I would link you to somebody who exactly. would link you. That, 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 I, that's, that's the thing. I just became, finish. I became a link chain. <laughs> it got to some points where you would, you would get to some places you, you would expect, you know, and then it made me realize, I learned one thing throughout that period, is that you need, all you need is Jesus. All you need. Mm. Because I, I remember at some point in my life, a lot of people would think maybe I was born again. I wasn't. I grew up in a in a Christian family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're born I knew the church. word. I knew the word back, mm. front to back. Mm. Yeah. Even though there were times when I was supposedly a minister, mm. I was a minister. Wow, wow. You know, because you would you would understand at some point in your life that it's either it's Jesus or no other way. And when you start to trust in him, I realize that, you know, I think experiences that we've all gone through have made us better people or made us, you know, stronger people. But I know that God allows us to go through some things so that we can be a testimony to someone else. Ooh. I was telling someone the story of, you know, my life and times in school and everything. And the person could not even believe me. The person was saying, ah, no, not you. It's tr- you. You have it figured out. <laughs> you know, and I, I would tell people that, even after I finished school, I didn't still have it figured out. Wow. Yeah. At some point now, I still don't have it figured out. But there's one thing I know I have now. Yeah. And that's Christ. I'm telling you. Yeah. I'm telling you. You may not know tomorrow, but you know who holds tomorrow. So, so, so it is, it is, it is, this, this thing you said blew my mind. So it is possible to be functioning oh, in yeah. church. Yeah. And still not know Jesus. I have work out of the year certificate, by the way. Work out of the year certificate. I have. I have. And you still hadn't made contact with Jesus. You know, you know, sometimes we feel like we know God. Or sometimes we feel, you know, we get to a place of complacency. Where you just know that, you know, you know everything there is to know. Mm. But then you don't really know who God is. And I feel like there are a lot of people who have, you know, how would I put this now? In a very subtle way. We are in the system, but we are not part of the system. Of the system. You know, and a lot of Christians nowadays, that's what you have in church. You know, people who just, or worshipers, who will just come and worship. And they don't worship God in spirit mm. and in truth. And you just come with their body and they say, mm. you know? And I realize that time, when you worship God in spirit and in truth, he orders your steps. Mm. I, I realized when I got my job, I didn't know nobody. I just walked up to the guy at the car park. It was a car park. I just saw that the car was nice. And I'm like, this guy should be... Somebody, somebody important in this place, you know. And I just walked up to him. It was all boldness. I don't know. I was working. I had gone for an interview. And when I got there, they told me uh, I made the last two. And then, like, oh, you speak well. You look intelligent. Oh, sorry, there's no space for you right now. And I was working. It was Island. It was at the Ola Odeko. Ah, at, at the limit of your, your, pe- your, your individual brilliance. If, if we rely on ourselves, man will fail. Man is 
pre-designed to be imperfect. We can only be perfect with Christ. With Christ. You know. I'm not perfect. I'm incomplete without you, God. Ooh, yeah, yeah. I always want to rededicate my life. You know, God has known you from the beginning. He knows your genesis to revelation. Let me use that word. And I was, every time I have the opportunity, I always say, thank you for not giving up on me, God. What about this song? This song. Well, where would I be if you left me now? Where would I be? tell you something. I will be nobody. Oh, I will do nothing without you, Jesus. I will not achieve. You know, some people are achieving and they're achieving in the flesh. Uh, when you start to walk in spirit, you break, begin to break fresh grounds. You know, at some, I, thought I, was, I thought I was leaving and then I realized I wasn't leaving until I met Christ. I think when I walked in, when I walked in here, I was telling someone, you know, he was laughing. I said, I'm just new to this ministry. You people we think I've been doing it. You've been doing this all along. No. You just you just got I it. Just, and I stayed away for almost two years. I didn't do nothing. Wow. I just need to understand who God is. And I would say this, you're the first person calling me back. It was it was really time. You did not know. It's been an honor. It it's been an honor. It's been an honor. <laughs> Guys, this is Shay for me. My God. My God. It's been since we parted ways. Uh, I've not seen you behind the mic. <laughs> so when I saw you, I was like, no, you have to be on our script there. You have to be on our script there. Guys, this is, this is amazing. You cannot just sit in church and think that it's all. Yeah. You need to find Christ. You need to collide with Jesus. He will define who you are. You will find yourself in Him. That, yeah. It's been that, awesome. If, it's been awesome. It's been amazing. Uh, it's been amazing. God bless you for tuning in. For just subscribe. You need to get more of this. It's amazing. Please, your handle. Do, do you want people to follow you on, 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 uh, on social media? Okay, well, I'm about to launch a new um, okay. handle platform. Okay. My old one, if people check it, it's written. I want the construction. In okay, okay. You understand? So. When you get it done, forward oh, it to us. We'll push it out. We'll I push will, it out. I will give it Project to you. Project Sword on, on social media. The Project Sword.com. Shoot us a mail. Testimonies. At the project so we want to hear from you we want to hear your testimony god bless you god keep you this is unscripted this is the project so we sign in now god bless you confident you've been blessed by this session please follow the podcast and share with everyone you know you can also go to our website www.theprojectsoul.com because that's where you get everything we have done everything we are doing and everything we are yet to do whether it's our music whether it's our events whether it's our videos you can get it on our website you can also follow us on social media facebook and instagram daniel mcdonald and the project salt all right and you can also do that on youtube subscribe like share on youtube salt tv those videos will bless you you can also go to our store online store www.theprojectsaw.com shop and get our merchandise all branded merchandise from our store you can also get products from our partners you can also partner with us and donate to what we do www.theprojectsaw.com give your support to go a long way 
God loves you.